Hey guys, trying to catch a rare, well it's not rare, guppies and endlers do this all the time, but rare on tape process. Uh, tape, there's no such thing as tape anymore either. So this endler has turned bright green on its side. He's got a green spot. He's doing this twitchy jittery thing and I was like, oh no, what does he have? Well, he has a long gonopodium. That's that fin underneath the bottom that looks like a stick. And he uses that to hand off a sperm packet to the female. Now she had just given birth a couple days ago and I watched him swim up to her upside down and basically tap her with it for two or three seconds and he did this crazy shaking thing and I'm hoping he does it again. Maybe I'll back off a little bit. We'll give it a couple seconds and see if he does it again right here. But you can see him twitching. He's trying to entice her. Um, he's turning all sorts of colors. The yellow on his tail fin is bright. And uh, the blue, he's a blue Japanese endler. It's super bright. He's totally ignored his own species, which that's okay. Um, I'm really curious to see how that like snake skin tuxedo, just a dollar, or not dollar store, but big store guppy that I used to cycle a tank, um, who's been a prolific breeder, how she's going to take um, those genes with his his awesome genes, which are, he's got that, right, they kind of look like yellow on, on the camera, but I assure you, or uh, like white, but they're yellow, and he has turned blue and green, and he's flickering colors, and here. So it is a quick process, but I think he's going to come down and make one more pass at her. He's still twitching, which I think is the signal that he's ready to go. And Oh, oh, they're working on it. Now, what are they munching on? I don't know why everybody's right there eating. Um, it's probably not a good sign usually, but... So he's got the difference between male and female when you're sexing live bears is females have a triangular fin, males have a stick-like fin, and it's called a gynopodium. The women have a dark spot called a gravid spot towards their anus or, or their, their butt right in here. And that male, oh, there he goes, there he goes. So he is tucking that fin quickly he'll swim beside her and tucking in a packet of something and I'll let you guys fill in the blanks of what that something is he is basically inseminating her so in 30 days we should have a confirmed mix breeding of an endler and a tuxedo slash snakeskin uh, blue guppy mix so that should be an interesting mix um, I'm excited about it. So I'm glad that I got to share this with you guys on tape. It's kind of like the secret of life videos or something. But she's had the opportunity to mate with other males in the other tank before, and she would always fight him off. But this little guy may have snuck in, and she seems to not mind him. And now that's a total of three times that he's come up to her and given her uh, his, uh, his little gift. So I'm excited to see the, the swallowtail, how those genes come out, um, and I hope that uh, it makes a viable and beautiful new guppy endler hybrid. There he goes again, there he goes again. He is making sure also that he has tucked that in. Uh, he takes that packet, he lets it go, and then he nudges it into her if his fin missed. And you can see that gonopodium kind of, let's see, right there, it's tucked back alongside of him right now, and so I'm just glad that you guys got to see, this is how guppies and endlers mate, and he is still doing the shaky, the shaking shimmer, um, I put in some food for the shrimp in the tank, and I think that that kind of got everyone excited, um, there's also a snail that may have died, what happened here? Looks like a snail may have also died that they were all chomping on. So, rather interesting, rather cool. You saw it here. A male endler and a female guppy. They just mated. 
They may do this a few more times as they do the dance. It looks like now she's calm. Is he done? He might be done. A lot of times the males will then go and they will uh, try to catch other females. But this one, I think, may already be pregnant from him. Now, that's an endler species. So, I got to go, guys. But I'm glad that we were able to get that on film. And uh, very cool. It's hard, it's hard to, to catch these moments that happen in your fish tank, and I just happen to be walking by. It's sunset outside, and uh, I just happened to walk by and catch it. And I also caught his chromatophores flaring and his color changing. So he's gone from a soft light blue and purple to a turquoise green and blue, and he's got yellow stripes on his swallow tail. So very cool. All the fish are hanging out there together. Happy little fish family. Um, got a new shrimp tail. Oh, there he goes again. So he's tucking it in, and I feel like uh, I should be saying, Go! Okay, so, you know, they're Venezuelan, they're Colombian, and they're Brazilian, so I, I, I had to do the South American uh, soccer thing. But there you go. That's a male and female blue Japanese endler with some selective bred yellow swallowtail traits and just a plain old mud of a guppy um, with a nice metallic blue shimmer to her tail. I like it when the females have some patterns. He has turned bright turquoise and green, new emerald spot on his side. Just for her, that takes a lot of metabolic energy. I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of collapses or gets tired, sometimes even die, both of them afterwards. But he wants to show her, I'm ready. I may be small, but I've got the energy to pester you for a week, and I've got the energy to me metabolically change color, which takes a lot of energy and resources that could be used to grow or to swim or to survive. And it looks like the shrimp and the catfish and the baby uh, minnow fry uh, have all come to <laughs> check out the sites. And now the other female's like, hey, aren't you going to do anything for me? So usually it's the males just pestering females, but he looks like he's done. He's not twitching anymore. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed catching a glimpse at this. And we'll stay tuned for the future of this, uh, the secret history living in your aquarium. All right, good night, guys. Take it easy.